Hey guys, this is Dogs from Wilkinson Audio. I'm going to show you how to install the Wilkinson Audio SM57 cap onto the Shure SM57. So the first thing we're going to do is take the sticker off the SM57, which I've already done, just it goes across the cap here, and you're going to find the silver box, not the not the two lines, the uh, silver box thing. Okay, and you're gonna line that up. There's a couple, uh, two yellow parts, um, two yellow squares under this mesh area here. So we're gonna find uh, one of those. There's one on either side. There's one right here. So I'm gonna line this box up with uh, that yellow. And we're gonna take some kind of jeweler's screwdriver and we're gonna push that in and we're gonna pull the cap off. It's just a spring clip, so it can be a little tricky. And there we go. And there's the spring clip. So take the spring clip off, be sure not to lose it or anything. You can see the diaphragm of the mic here, be careful not to damage that. Uh, it's not, you know, it's fragile, but not super fragile. I've done this about 20 or 30 times on this microphone, this process, and I haven't damaged it yet, so it's not, you know, it's not super fragile. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is take this SM57 cap, pull the mesh off the top. You see there's some foam in there, you can push down on that. It'll pop the resonator plate out of the SM57, and then we'll take the foam piece out of the, or the SM57 cap, take the foam piece out as well. And I'm gonna put the resonator cap back in. And then we can take a look at the difference between the Wilkinson Audio cap and the SM57 cap. The Wilkinson Audio cap you can see has uh, much larger openings uh, in the resonator um, cap and as well as in the head basket. Both of those are designed to reduce uh, um, high frequency resonances that uh, increase high frequency response. So essentially you're just attenuating uh, the microphone, the high frequency of the microphone a little bit, it'll make it a little bit smoother and better sounding. So we're going to take the spring clip that we pulled out of the uh, SM57 head cap and we're going to place it into the Wilkinson Audio 57 head cap like so. Um, you want this piece or this part here, it's kind of hard to focus on. Um, this little bump here, put it in one of the openings and then position the clip like so. So it's like that. Then we're going to grab the microphone and we're going to find one of those yellow boxes. You can see that the flat, they're both flat sides uh, where the yellow areas are. So we need to find one of those yellow areas and then we need to put the cap on like so. And then we're going to push the, the spring clip together and under the cap head. And get them to, as close together as you can. And then you're going to push the cap head down. And you can see them starting to protrude here. Oops, I think I lost one. But anyways, one snapped in. You need both to snap in. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, so I'm going to redo that because only one snapped in and we need both. So you push them under. You might do this a few times. This is really tricky, or can be. Push the cap head down, and now the mesh is getting stuck, and that'll happen sometimes, just push it in, and there we go. But only one snapped in again. Anyways, do this a few times. The second one's really close to snapping in. Let's see if we can get it uh, this time here. I blame Sure for this incredible design work. Okay, try it again. There, both snapped in, I believe. Anyways, do that until both snap in. I think they're both in, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, and then it should rotate freely on the 57 when it's installed properly. So you can rotate the body. And then we're just going to complete the process by throwing the foam into the top part here. 
Just push that in like so. And then we're going to add the mesh at the top and just kind of squeeze that until it's level. Okay, and then that completes the Wilkinson Audio uh, SM57 cap head install.